First off, before I start my video, I would like to say R.I.P. to God, Triller. You know, that is so Illuminati's little brother, but he has his own name too. He does have 500k subscribers, but he did pass away a few days ago. And I would like to send my condolences to his family and to everybody else who subscribed to him. I was a fan of him. I just had to say that before I started this video, R.I.P. to God, Trill. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, man, we are back here with another video. Now, before you do anything, go to press that like button for your boy. Please press the subscribe button so we can hit 90. So, we want sub boy. If you've seen this video, press the subscribe button if you are new to my channel. And turn on the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Now, let's get right into it. Someone asked my wing, will there still be numbered animation releases in NBA 2K23 like there has been in previous 2Ks or only signature releases? Now, he did respond to that tweet and Mike Wayne said, there are no more numbered releases. Jump shots have been completely revamped. All shots are named after players. Now, what that means is there's no base 23 there's no set shot 25 there's no jump shot 98 release 98 whatever you want to call it it's probably still in the game it just doesn't have that title anymore so you know i want to see how that works out i'm gonna still use Rudy get Rudy get still a cold jump shot now someone responded to the tweet and they said i wonder if we can still blend releases and stuff they might have just killed off a whole community and if they did it'd be hard to say it was accidental now, from this tweet, it sounds like Buddy was mad. Now, I don't really care about that. They needed to revamp some of the jump shots. But we all know some of those old jump shots still going to be dominant. They're still going to be, you know, useful. But I kind of like the idea of they revamping the jump shots. Now, Mike Wayne did respond, and he did say, The jump shot credit is still there. You can mix and match bases and releases. Control blending and split like you usually can. The number generic shots are gone, but there are way more signature shots than we've ever had. You'll find plenty of options for your shot this year. Now, he can say this, but I mean, people still gonna use the same releases, whatever they see on YouTube, whatever a lot of creators use, and whatever they really think is most popular. Now, y'all remember that old graph they posted a few weeks ago? Y'all remember this graph right here? Now, I still don't really understand this graph and what all it means. I have to understand it when I actually play the game like this. But y'all remember this graph. Now, Mike Wayne did make a tweet and he did respond to this tweet. Now, for that graph, he did say that. This is an outdated list. We want to show y'all that basically the idea of what to expect. Now, I still don't know what to expect. I don't really know about all that. Now, when the game come out in less than two weeks, which I can't wait, yes, we'll see what everything on that graph means. We'll finally get a better understanding of what that graph means. But until then, I don't really care about that list and all that. That was just some news he really put out there. I don't really care about all that anyway. But yeah, man, I'm telling y'all, 2K23 come out less than two weeks. We still gonna be out here grinding. If you're still watching the video up to this point, so now Downward posted a tweet and he says, it sounds like the 2K23 bad system is gonna be something similar to this. Now, that's what it's kind of looking like. I wouldn't be mad if it was something similar to this because it gives Bills at least a little bit of diversity. I mean, everybody else, when they gave us the freedom of 2K21 and 2K22, everybody was making basically the same build now they gave us this with a little bit of diversity i wouldn't be mad at it because we will finally have a better understanding and concept of what we can do with our players and what we can maximize for our players now somebody asked blue but does pump fake and take adrenaline boost the same way jumping for a block does now you know in 2k21 and 2k20 you can just pump fake pump fake pump fake until they jump and you can still get the same timing off with no stamina laws if you pump fake five six seven eight nine ten different times now he did say pump faking doesn't use boost but your shot rate doesn't drop if you spam face the more you spam the larger the drops now i'm glad he implemented this into the game so people can stop spamming pump fakes but yeah man that's really it for the news man don't forget to like 
comment, subscribe if you know I'm gonna keep y'all updated. When the part new comes out, it should come out Wednesday. So just be ready. But yeah, man, I'm out, man. Peace.